To do this fix, you'll need any type of 5mm screw and a 5mm fender washer. The screw should be 15mm long or longer. There are two problems that cause the shake. The housing can be loose against the base, and the glass inside the housing can be loose. To fix the housing shake, cut down the screw so that it's 11.5 to 12mm long with the fender washer installed. If it's too short, you won't be able to get it threaded, and if it's too long, it'll bottom out. Remove the screw on the bottom of the mirror, then install the new one with the fender washer. Keep tightening it until the housing isn't loose anymore. You can add a second one as well to keep things a bit more secure. To fix the loose glass, remove the recessed screw in this hole. After that, you should be able to pull the glass out. On the motor, this tab breaks off. It should look like the tab on the other side. There's no way to fix it, but there is a workaround. I'm going to use double-sided tape to hold the motor in place. Clean up the inside of the housing and the back of the motor so that the tape has a good surface to stick to. Place a strip of double sided tape on the back of the motor here, then set the mirror back in the housing and get that bottom screw started. Now firmly push the mirror into the housing so that the tape sticks. Hold it for about 30 seconds. After that, just finish tightening that bottom screw and you're done. 